All right, guys, this is a shout out to A and Z Lock and Safe. This is uh, the second of three challenge locks they've sent to me. They, I can just picture this, a bunch of locksmiths sitting around in a room drinking beer, trying to figure out how to get my panties all twisted up, and they've done it. So here, here's what we got. It is a Schlage. I do have a key. It's wrapped up inside of here, inside of tape, but we don't need that stinking key because I figured out how to access this thing. You guys know how much I love Schlage keyways, right? I mean, it really makes it difficult. Even, let me grab a 15,000. Even when you get a 15,000, it's really difficult to go from the bottom here because of that piece of warding. And this is a very tight one. This is definitely to spec. So when a 15,000 fit in there, it actually pinches it and it robs you of all the feedback. And again, these locksmiths in that dark room with beer, they said, how can we really screw this guy up? And one of them, of course, is to put some very severe high-low, high-lows in there. So I can't really get at it going from this ledge with any 15,000. So, all right, A and Z, here's what I've come up with. I have designed a pick to defeat you. I know it's ugly. I made it out of 13,000. Uh, it's out of feeler gauge. I just put this handle on it. It is 13,000, and it is thin enough to fit right between, if I can get some focus working for me, right between there and I, I cut that height so I can slide it along the bottom and it just slides past all of the pins without oversetting them. So let me clamp this up and let's see if this new pick is worth the time I took to grind it out. All right, let's see what we got here. You guys went to an awful lot of effort for sure. Okay, it does slide in, and I had tested it before. I knew it went in there. So let's see if we can make this thing work for us. All right. I can't tell you how many hours I spent with 15,000 trying to force it up through that crack. And while you can pick the pins and you get a lot of crunching and carrying on up there, you can't tell because there's no feedback through the pick. Hopefully this one will do a little better. All right, light tension. I'm going to go counterclockwise, and let's see what we got. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. It does give you feedback in terms of counter rotation, and it did give me quite a fault set with a 15 thousandth. I just touched something on pin two, and it just turned, I mean, just barely, and I got a little counter rotation there. I got a little extra click. Looking for another binder. I got counter rotation there, what feels like pin four. Come on. He seized up. I'm going to let off all tension. There he goes. He's really tough. Good spring on that one. Thing about 13,000, you can't put too much pressure on him. You'll break, break it. There we go. I just touched pin two, and I mean just barely touched him. Got a little bit more of a fault set going. And again, I got another click on him there. He's really high cut. That's pin one, and I've lost the fault set. All right, I'm going to reset. I think pin one is a trick. I think you guys might have doubled up some springs on me here. There's a couple of them, and they're quite tough. There we go. We're on pin four again. Got that counter rotation working. Come on. Wow. There we go. Pin two again. I'm still getting counter rotation on two. There we go. Another click.
Oh, that's light tension. I don't think I lost anything though. Okay, that was four. I got another click on it. That was two again. like a gap back there if that's possible can rotation on two come on get nothing got in here. Okay, I've got moderate tension on it now. Try something a little different. I'm trying to force something to bind up. There it is, two again. And now I got a good fault set and he has stopped giving me counter rotation. There's some counter rotation on three. Okay, that felt like six. And I got a deeper fault set. Was the warding. There's counter rotation on three again. He's tough. I think that might be one of the double springs. And I do have a good fault set going now. Okay, that was five. Nice deep fault set. There's one way back there. Matter of fact, I might have to cut this pick longer just to access him. Very deep fault set. There's something way back in the back there. Okay, there's counter rotation on three. Fell off. Let's try it again. Okay, we got him. Okay, there's four. Counter rotation. Ooh. There, we got him. Let's check these guys in the front. We're good. And then the very back one, of course. Now we're getting the counter rotation. I'm sure you guys planned it this way. If there's such thing as a pin eight. Come on. Whoa. All right, I got him, but I think we lost our fault set now. Let's check everybody in front. Okay, we got the fault set back, but who fell down? There is three again. Five again. Criminy. All right, it's that very last one back there. Get a little bit of counter rotation on him. All 
All right, I still got a very deep fault set. I felt a click back there. Okay, there's three. This is a huge fault set. Okay, that was three, counter rotation. Oh, come on. Still got my fault set though. There's three again. He's huge spool with a very powerful spring on him. I think I just got him. Okay, there's four again. And there we go. Man, all right, 11 minutes. A to Z, you guys are killing me. I don't even want to try your custom pin Primus. All right, the actuator is free, it is open. Let's go ahead and take a look, see what you guys got in here. Um, we can open the pin. What did I do with the key? Here we go. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Let's go ahead and open. Um, no, let's go ahead and make sure the pin, the key does work. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock him up. And let's cut this guy open. Let me zoom out on this guy. All right, I know how much you guys love me cutting the key and leaving little scratches. I don't know why, but uh, I, I'm gonna try to peel this off. Yes. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. And you know there's one riding out there. There has to be. All right, let's see if it works. Coming from a lot, bunch of locksmiths. Even though you guys have been consuming adult beverages while you built this, it does work uh, very smoothly. But I got to tell you, this core turns. There's a lot of tension on the core, and it might be because this is tight. But there's no way I could know that without turning the key. So it does work. So I got no complaints. Um, let's go ahead and take this part. See what we got here. Get all this stuff out of the way. Get arranged. Man. That thing was torqued in there with like 187 foot pounds, like you put on the head of a 1972 Vega. Okay, I do have right size. <laughs> okay, well, we got seven, guys. Standard, standard, baby standard. Looks like all these are standards. Every one of them are standard, and I see nothing... No mods to the core at all. All right, let's see what we got upstairs. I know we got some serious spool action. All right, we got a series. We have, look at that guy. I'll bet there is a, I was gonna say, I bet there's a little wafer in there, but I don't see him. So he, waferless. Trying to get these springs separated. So we have a very strong one in two, very strong steel one and a little brass or copper in uh, one. All right, we're on, oh my gosh, on three, that thing launched out of there like a Nike Hercules anti-aircraft missile. Can't wait to see the spring on this guy. Well, he's in there. We're just gonna have to dig him out. He is very substantial. Another one of these steel ones, just like we had in two. Wow. He really did launch. All right. 
Number four, pretty gentle spring, a nice big spool on this guy. Copper. Gentle, nice huge spool on this one as well. And six. Let's turn it around and go from the other side. Okay, so we're looking at seven. This will be the first one. Look at there, he just barely breaks the shear line. Another one of these pins. And very strong steel spring. And number six. Again, he just barely breaks the shear line there. And it's another one of these. See if I can pull them out kind of intact. Uh, nope, there we go. So he was pointing the other way. And another super spring. And that, my guy, my friends, should be it. Yep. Let's see if we got any mods inside of here. I didn't feel any crunching. So, nope, no, no mods in here whatsoever. Just a seven pin core you could probably put like nine pins on that if you wanted to but here's what we're looking at these i gotta say i'm gonna move that out of the way just for balance these guys right here these springs are incredibly powerful like someone told me they they thought that the springs like this came out of like a big lighter i don't smoke so i can't say but these things they do not want to compress very strong springs um, these little upside down T pins would get caught, act like a spool. And these big spools would give you those extreme fault set. And then a little, throwing a little serrated technology to throw me off balance. A to Z, you guys got me going and you got me to invent the new A to Z. Oops, where'd it go? I've already misplaced him. The A to Z, where did he go? The A to Z Schlage warding bypass pick there's what we're looking at anyway fellas thanks for a lot appreciate you putting all the effort into it and uh, i look forward to picking your your primus your hand, your custom pin primus i have not yet even opened a stock primus but i'm gonna have to focus on that thanks for all the effort everybody stay safe stay legal